First, though, it's time to round up a big topic from the week. The University of Texas has now put on hold the relocation of a controversial statue away from the center of campus. The century old statue of Confederate President Jefferson Davis was supposed to be moved to the school's Dolph Briscoe Center for American History this weekend. But the university has agreed to wait after the sons of Confederate veterans requested a temporary restraining order. The statue has been targeted by vandals and come under increasing criticism from some saying it's a symbol of racism. So in light of the recent events dealing with the history of the Confederacy, is the removing of the statue a good idea or are we erasing history and trying to be too politically correct? And if the statue is removed, where do we draw the line? That's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you. You can weigh in on our Fox 26 Facebook page or send a tweet. Be sure to use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our roundup panel. It's led by our senior legal analyst, Chris Tridico, attorney Nomi Hussein and public policy analyst, Jack. Jackie Valley, good morning, guys. Good morning. good morning. So, what do you think? Is this is this a good idea, or are we trying to be too politically correct in erasing history? Well, and that that becomes the concern as we as we try to deal with the issues that that the Confederate battle flag has brought up with the racism that's been surrounded that flag for years. Now, all over the South, we're looking at these icons of of the Confederacy and saying, what do we do with them? The, the problem with what UT is facing right now is this, this statue and other statues at, on campus was put there by a Confederate veteran who gave a $250,000 grant 100 years ago to erect this statue, <coughs> excuse me, erect this statue and leave it there. That's the problem they have. I, it, when you look at what are we going to do and how are we going to deal with, with, with the issues surrounding the Civil War and, and, and what the South did, what UT is saying is, let's put this in a place where we can continue to study history. I don't want to, UT is not erasing history. They're saying, let's put it in a more appropriate place, Jackie Valley. And there's probably, in my view, nothing wrong with that because I don't think we can hide from what the Confederacy did. I don't think we can hide from what the South did, but we have to put it in a place where we can study it, talk about it, and honor it. Yeah, but I think the question is, if we do that, when do we stop? <coughs> For instance, I went to Robert E. Lee High School. Now there's a debate about changing the name of my high school. The, the, I have a diploma that says Robert E. Lee. Right. And that school may have a different name based on things that are happening. Look, what that gentleman did in South Carolina, and that, a lot of this is spurring from that, was horrible. He had mental issues. We all ag agree with that. But if you like that, uh, if you uh, agree or disagree, if you like the Confederate flag or not, it is a part of our history. It is. It is who we are as a country. And when do we stop? Do we start um, erasing Jeb Stewart, uh, Robert E. Lee, all of these um, schools that are Reagan. named after Reagan? I mean, when does it stop? So, uh, yes, I think to answer Sally's question directly, I think it is um, political correctness going too far because even if we don't like the flag, it is who we are and it is part of our history. As a symbol of racism, and I think everyone can agree that these are symbols of racism, but ja is Jackie right? I mean, when do we stop? Where do we say, wait a minute, this is really just history. We can't hide from what we did. It's not honoring racism to say, here's the people who led the Confederacy, is it? No, well, sure, Chris, but I think we need to make a distinction here. We're not erasing history. Uh, the new president at UT, Greg Fenvis, put together a red ribbon, a blue ribbon panel, and they came back with some recommendations. And also the new student body president at UT also campaigned on this issue. We're simply moving the statute. That's all, and I'm saying we because I'm a UT graduate. Oh, I, I, spent, you, okay. I spent four years at the University well, of you, Texas at you, Austin, and honestly, I don't remember, remember seeing this statue, but the fact is, Jackie, we're not erasing history. We're simply moving the statue to a place where it can be studied and put in the proper context. Secondly, you brought up the little field wills. That's the little field will. Fountain, is, yeah. Well, Which you created the fountain, right. Well, but, but the will is also, does not say anywhere that the statue has to remain where it is. It can be anywhere on campus and where we're going to be moving it is in a museum on the campus. But they're only moving that statue. There's six Confederate uh, soldier statues. They're moving that statue and Woodrow Wilson which the last I heard, he didn't have anything to do with racism. <laughs> <laughs> the, reason, the, the reason they're moving President Wilson's statue is because it was direct, it's directly across from this statue. And the other thing is, is that the other statues that are there, they're saying they should remain there because they have strong connections to Texas. But he's proving my point because he even said, I don't even remember seeing the statue. And 
If we remove that statute because they're saying, well, we're afraid of racism, how is that really helping racism? End racism. And to end right. racism. Now, had you gone to the best university in Texas, Sam Houston State, <laughs> you wouldn't have this problem. I'm going to go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. Okay, let's take a look. We've got all <coughs> sides uh, represented here in the debate on Twitter right now. Let's take a look at this first tweet. Uh, this person says, all this PC stuff, I'll insert that <laughs> word, uh, is totally ridiculous. We're losing America as a whole. Keith says, so very wrong. This is the first generation to do away with history instead of studying and cherishing it. Sad. And then Rick says, if you idolize people who seceded the U.S. to keep slaves, then worship them in your own home. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> and, and that's actually, you know, we're, we're giggling at that, but that's actually, isn't that a decent point? Well, just because the statue is on the campus doesn't mean that we're idolizing it. I mean, like Nomi said, he didn't even realize it was there. And actually, I think this should be used as a discussion to talk about racism in general, not to remove statutes that have been erected at a university based on an endowment that was given to the university. But isn't that what UT is saying by saying we're going to move this statue to the history, what's it called? The, the Briscoe, uh, Briscoe American History Museum. And no, then they're going to move it there and say we can study it there. No, actually what they're saying is they're, they're saying like this is the one statute we're removing because of the race of the, right. the field of racism that's been happening since the South Carolina shooting. We